That was the opening of The Berceuse by Gabriel Faure, and that's the piece that we're going to be looking at today in the Northbridge Flute Academy. Now, I love the music of Gabriel Faure. His dates, by the way, were 1845 to 1924. So he was in this sort of golden period of music for France. We know that the Bohem system flute was painted in 1847, and then Paul Taffanel effectively started the French School of Music from 1860. So this composition, which dates from 1879 and was originally written for violin and piano, is in a really golden period of music in France. Now, around this time, there were many, many virtuoso pieces written, and there is the Premier Prix de Concours at the Paris Conservatoire, which was established in this period. And so much of the music up until really the turn of the century into the uh, 1900s was very much focused on technique. And what I love about Gabriel Faure, he's all about the tune. He's all about the melody. And I think that as flute players, even though this piece wasn't written for us, we can learn so much about how to approach music from this period. It's not really romantic, neither is it impressionistic. It's one of those pieces, and Foray is one of those composers who he could be labelled as sort of vaguely modernist for the period, but he never really fitted into any particular camp. He was very much his own creation. And I think that this piece, let's look at the words for a start, you know, berceuse. Now, it's a lullaby, the translation is a lullaby, but also uh, it could be a rocking chair. Berce is to rock or to lull, and berceau is a, a cradle. So what we have to establish in this piece is very much the sense of something rocking. Now, as I say, it could be that you're holding a small child and you wish to rock that child to sleep, or equally, you could just be going gently backwards and forwards in a rocking chair. So that's very much the kind of pulse that we've got to create with this. And it is a, it's a constant thing. It just runs from the beginning to the end. The very ending of the Berceurs, I think, is very special if you can go up to a top F. Uh, we can play the F beneath that at the top of the stave, but I think there's something really quite magical about a purity of sound on that top F. And that is The Berceurs by Gabriel Foray. <laughs> 